Hi guys, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about what's new in board gaming as of November 4th, 2022. I'll be covering the latest news, announcements, most played games, hot new Kickstarters and crowdfunded games, and more related to board gaming for the past two weeks. At the end, I'll also be sharing what's going on behind the scenes with my YouTube channel, Meeple Mentor. So stick around, we've got a lot to cover. Leave me a like and comment on what kinds of updates that you want to hear more about. To make sure that you don't miss my news updates, new video tutorials, and our podcast episodes, be sure to subscribe on YouTube and your preferred streaming platform. Let's get started with some crowdfunding. Up first are some games funding on GameFound. In Destiny's Witchwood, the expansion and reprint, step into the shoes of a brave adventurer as you step into the woodland labyrinth of Witchwood in search of your destiny. This solo or competitive RPG is app-driven. The app tracks the narrative, time passing, how time connects, and the events that unfold based on player actions. The maze provides an interesting mechanic, making the game more competitive. It's for one to three players ages 14 and up and has a playtime of two hours. You can back it until November 11th. 20 Strong is a modular solo adventure system featuring 20 dice integrated in a myriad of unique ways across multiple game universes. Each deck introduces a new way to play with the same 20 dice. Some of the decks for this dice builder RPG are Solar Sentinels, Hoplomachus, Victorum, and Too Many Bones. It's a solo game for ages 14 and up and plays in 30 to 40 minutes, depending on on the deck. Back it on GameFound until November 10th. Next on GameFound is the latest game from the award-winning designer of Cascadia. It's called Tabriz and is a meeple-moving game of careful planning and quick action in a bustling Persian bazaar. This worker placement and resource management game is for one to five players ages 10 and up and plays in 45 minutes. You can back it until November 21st. Varmints is a compact two-player card game about eating trash. In gutters and back alleys, adorable critters compete over treasure troves of tasty garbage. Swipe all the trash from your opponent's bins before they do the same to you. This strategy card game for two players is super suitable for ages 10 and up and plays in 30 minutes. Back it on GameFound until November 29th. Next on GameFound is Dynamo, a quick, fun, push-your-luck card and dice game in which players bet to collect the most cards of a color or number for the highest score at the end of the game. It's for two to five players ages 7 and up and plays in 25 minutes. You can back it until November 26th. In the mood for a social game, Legendary Tea Farmer is a social game where you develop your tea estate and build reputation to become the most legendary tea farmer in the region. As you strive for greatness, you also compete with other farmers and need to see through their strategies to get to the finish line first. This dice, resource management, and worker placement game is for two to five players ages 10 and up and has an 80 minute playtime. You can back it on GameFound until November 30th. Lastly in our game found list is Trixies, with Trixies written shortly as 3KSES. You are getting a lot of fun for two to six players, set of three exciting and battery free games. Players train their minds, learn about famous world locations, and enjoy playing the game at the same time. The game can be played on any flat surface, does not need a game board. Its compact size allows you to play anywhere, even on a train, during a lunch break in the office, in a tent while camping, or at a small table in a pub. The rules are short and quick to learn. The game's for two to six players ages 14 and up and plays in 20 minutes. Moving over to Kickstarter, we're looking at Hero, the emergency room board game relaunch. Fast-paced rules, an ever-changing combination of NPCs, and a never-ending flood of patients, that's a night shift at Hero. It's medically thematic, incorporating humor and the possibility to lose patients. Back it until November 24th. Zoo Tycoon, the board game, is your own zoo in a box with more than 230 animal meeples, a highly thematic board game experience for two to four players. This resource management game is for ages 13 and up and plays in two to three hours. You can back it on Kickstarter until November 23rd. Humanity's biggest fear is back. Cthulhu Death May Die, Fear of the Unknown is on Kickstarter until November 9th. Face new monsters, insanities, and rules in this brand new standalone Death May Die core box. 
The game is for one to five players, ages 14 and up, and plays in 90 minutes. Save the world from the mysterious alien device that is hovering over the planet in Tesseract, a cooperative dice manipulation game. Your goal is to remove, adjust, and contain cubes from the Tesseract, placing them into the containment matrix. This game is for one to four players, ages 14 and up, and plays for one hour. You can back it on Kickstarter until November 11th. Next on Kickstarter, it's Survival of the Fattest. It's foraging fun for two to four critters using action selection, hand management, and abilities to survive the winter. Each critter has its own unique abilities. Your goal is to be the fattest critter in the winter. It's for players ages eight and up and plays in 60 minutes. You can back it until November 24th. Delta is an adventurous strategic board game. In this steampunk adventure, you will explore mechanimals in the Kamaru Delta. Assemble a team of scientists, explorers, and the like, and send them to one of three sections to perform actions. Gather enough research to publish papers about the mechanimals. It's for two to four players ages 12 and up and plays in 90 to 120 minutes. You can back it on Kickstarter until November 11th. Next on Kickstarter, we have Fun Brick Series. It's a new game series from Iten in Japan. Each slim box contains a unique, highly replayable game with simple rules. These various pocket games include titles like Ninja Master and Viking Seesaw. The games are for ages 8 and up, player counts ranging from 2 to 7, and play in different times, the most being 15 minutes. You can back it on Kickstarter till November 24th. Castles of Mad King Ludwig Renovations and 2nd Edition is on Kickstarter until November 30th. This game sees tile placement as the main mechanic to renovate the castle. The new expansion enhances existing rooms with dual room type innovations for every size room. Blood Runes is a pattern creation strategy board game unlike any other. Using a shared board, players cast runes and spells to win fortune that employs pattern building, tense choices, and paranoia inducing interaction with players. It's for two to four players ages 14 and up and plays in one hour. It's funding on Kickstarter until December 2nd. Zombomination isn't just fun to say, it's an award-winning asymmetrical zombie apocalypse in a mint tin. It's a real-time turn-based dice rolling game with multiple different winning conditions. It's for one to two survivors and you can back it on Kickstarter until November 16th. Become a Nanoid Operator. Take a pack anywhere and fight back the rifts in Nano Battle, an epic minifigure combat game system. Quick tactical hex combat with simultaneous play and story mode provides one to two players ages 14 and up with a five minute playtime per player. It's on Kickstarter until December 1st. Next on Kickstarter is an adventure board game in which you find treasure and defeat traps to get out alive. The Adventures of Tennessee James, the board game, uses card draw as a means to get around the board. It's for one to four players ages eight and up and can be played in 30 to 45 minutes. Back it until December 1st. Alhambra The Red Palace is also funding on Kickstarter till November 11th. Experience Alhambra in a new light with this standalone game that changes the core gameplay and brings new twists and game mechanics. Your goal is to construct your Alhambra in such a way that you have a long outer wall to protect your buildings. It's for two to six players ages 10 and up and plays in 45 to 60 minutes. Ready for a new cooperative deck building adventure? Slay the Spire, the board game, sees players craft a unique deck, encounter bizarre creatures, discover relics of immense power, and finally become strong enough to slay the Spire. It's for one to four players ages 14 and up and plays in 90 minutes. You can back it on Kickstarter until November 18th. Goblin Uprising is a board game for two to six players. Play as a goblin and lead the revolution to topple the tyrannical tail races. This miniatures game provides a 60 to 90 minute playtime and it's funding until November 22nd. Next up on Kickstarter is the Role Player Adventures expansion, Goldpax's Secret. It's a new campaign for the critically acclaimed co-op narrative board game for one to four players. Players take on the role of fantasy heroes to face new challenges, explore new environments, meet new characters in the world of Ulos, and make meaningful decisions that change the story. The new expansion adds a seven adventure campaign. It's for ages 14 and up and provides a playtime of 90 to 150 minutes. It's funding until November 18th. The Thinning Veil is also on Kickstarter, funding till November 30th. 
It's a one to four co-op adventure game and dungeon crawler, a fantasy horror inspired by Celtic myth. This Sam Wayne, the restless dead plan to stay. It can be played as a narrative based progressive campaign across 30 adventure game scenarios or as 10 individual dungeon crawl scenarios, the latter forming a series of one shots designed to keep your group busy for a single game nights. It's for ages 14 and up and provides a playtime of 60 to 240 minutes. Disrupt the natural ecosystem of oceans with cultural mythology and fantasy. Oceans Legends of the Deep is funding on Kickstarter until November 29th. The campaign includes a solo expansion and legendary edition. Oceans is a two to four player interactive engine builder based on the natural world where players create aquatic species, choosing traits and adapting to a continually changing ecosystem where everything is connected. The Legends of the Deep expansion disrupts the natural order of the base game by introducing cultural mythology and fantasy from around the globe. Dreadful Meadows, the Deluxe Edition, is our last campaign on Kickstarter for this week's video. Become this season's sweetest supplier in the strategic patch and worker placement game for one to four confectioners. It's for ages 13 and up and plays in 45 minutes. You can back it until November 4th. Getting into the industry news, Asmodee announced the acquisition of VR Group, a wholesale distributor of gaming products in Australia, New Zealand, and the UK. This move will expand Asmodee's wholesale distribution reach in these Australia, New Zealand, and the UK when the transition is complete. In other Asmodee news, they will, with Edge Studios, release three more reprints of Star Wars RPG source books and two Game Masters kits into retail on November 11th. IDW Publishing will publish an original graphic novel, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves, The Feast of the Moon, that will be a prequel to the upcoming movie, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Paramount's Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves is scheduled to premiere in March 2023. Michael Wokosh, who created the tabletop game Starving Artists, has filed suit against Oxeye Media, alleging unpaid royalties, failure to provide royalty reports, and other breaches of the contract. The suit, which was filed in Wisconsin Small Claims Court, requests the royalties, other compensation, and copies of the game. 19-year-old chess grandmaster Hans Niemann has filed a lawsuit against several parties at the center of the ongoing cheating scandal rocking the professional chess scene and is seeking $100 million in damages from several parties. The video game version of bird collecting board game Wingspan is getting an expansion based on the wildlife of the Oceana continent. Announced via a trailer, Monster Couch, the Wingspan Oceana expansion is adapted from the tabletop title of the same name. The upcoming expansion for the digital board game will add 95 additional new cards. Alongside the new bird cards, each bringing their own unique benefits, there will be another resource for players to use called Nectar and a set of alternative player boards for players to use. There is yet to be a confirmed release date for Wingspan Oceana expansion, with the expansion set to arrive on Steam, Geo Android, iOS, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. Catan is looking to crown its next big wig of bricks and sovereign of sheeps. The popular board game will hold a three-day world championship competition in Malta, Italy in order to decide the best Catan player on the planet. For a while now, archaeologists investigating sites around the Aegean and Mediterranean seas have been wondering about small stone spheres they keep finding. A recent study by researchers at the University of Bristol, published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, suggests that the stones may have been used as counters in a Bronze Age board game. Employees at a large brick and mortar and online hobby games retailer have formed a union affiliated with the Communications Workers of America, the group said in an announcement. Noble Knight Games United seeks to represent workers at Fitchburg, Wisconsin based Noble Knight Games, which specializes in out-of-print and used games, and says it has the world's largest selection of games. The group filed their intent to form a union with the National Labor Relations Board on Monday. Titan Comics has inked a deal with the game developer Jagex to produce comics, graphic novels, original fiction, and coloring books based on the RuneScape video games. Titan announced during the Diamond Retailer Summit that it has inked a deal with Behavior Interactive to produce comics based on the video game Dead by Daylight. Next, let's look at newly announced games and expansions coming to retail. 
Rio Grande Games will release Crossing Oceans, a new economic board game into retail. In this game, players become owners of modern ocean liner companies at the end of the 19th century. They will try to acquire the most modern steamships available and monopolize ports to best their rivals. This game is for two to four players ages 14 and up and plays in 45 to 90 minutes. Smirk and Dagger will release Boop, a new abstract strategy game into retail. In this game, designed by Scott Brady, players place kittens on a quilted fabric bed board to make them go boop, which pushes other kittens a space away. Players are trying to line up three kittens in a row so that they can graduate to becoming cats. Once the kittens become cats, they must then line up three cats in a row to win the game. However, the other players are also booping kittens about the bed, so their positions change constantly. This game is for two players, ages 10 and up, and plays in 20 to 30 minutes. The fourth expansion set for Greater Than Games' Settler Destruction board game Spirit Island has been announced, Nature Incarnate. The Nature Incarnate expansion adds the new Incarna spirit mechanic to Spirit Island. Incarna are spirits that are able to create create a physical manifestation, giving them direct influence on the world of the game. Greater Than Games is raising funds for Nature Incarnate through Backer Kit. Weird Games will release Seance Scenario, an expansion for the Vagrant Song board game, into retail in December this year. This new scenario for Vagrant Song pits the Vagrants against the infamous Fox Sisters. It includes a new scenario to play through, Vagrant exclusive skills to obtain, and rituals to complete. This scenario requires Vagrant Song core game to play. Alderac Entertainment Group unveiled Shake That City, a new tile land game which will be headed to Kickstarter in Q4. In Shake That City, players become city planners trying to build up the best city block. Players shake up patterns of cubes by using a unique cube shaker component that randomizes the wooden blocks. This game is for one to four players and plays in under an hour. Arcane Wonders revealed Critters at War, Flies, Lies, and Supplies, a sequel game to Air, Land, and Sea, Critters at War, which will hit stores on November 16th. Flies, Lies, and Supplies is a reskinned animal version of original Air, Land, and Sea, Spies, Lies, and Supplies that was released earlier this year. This is a standalone game that has everything players need to pick up and play. It also can be combined with the Air, Land, and Sea Critters at War game. It is for two players ages 14 and up and plays in 20 minutes. On December 7th, Hatchet Board Games will release Movie Mind, a new visually oriented trivia game from the Gigamix Studio. In Movie Mind, players form teams and race to answer a series of five color-coded questions about movies before the timer runs out in order to earn points. It was designed for two to nine players ages 14 and up, and games take about 20 minutes. Pandasaurus Games announced Splitter, a new dice game for release into retail November 21st. Splitter is a dice game featuring simple rules and a dash of symmetry. Two dice are rolled each round, and the players at the table write the results on their page in an attempt to group the same numbers together on their personal score sheet. This game is for 1 to 12 players ages 8 and up and plays in 15 minutes. Coyote and Crow LLC is producing a push your luck style dice game called Naasi, releasing November 16th. In Naasi, a Coyote and Crow dice game, players use 12 sided dice to roll sets of runs of numbers in order to score points. The game comes with 9 white dice, 3 black dice, 5 optional rules cards for customizing gameplay, and a pad of score sheets. Nasi is intended for 2 to 5 players ages 13 and up and plays in a little over half an hour. The Pokemon Company International will release three new Paldea collection sets for Pokemon TCG into retail January 6th. These new sets send trainers off on a brand new adventure in the Paldea region. Each set features one of three first partner Pokemon, Sprigitito, Fiacoco, and Quaxley. Rebellion Unplugged will release Judge Dredd The Game of Crime Fighting in Mega City 1, a new edition of a classic board game, in November. The new edition adds updated cards, revised rules for faster play, and new recolored artwork. This game is for 2 to 6 players ages 14 and up and plays in 90 minutes. Rising Waters is a board game focused on the devastating flood of the Mississippi River in 1927 and how systemic racism in the American South disproportionately affected black communities, many of which were forced to relocate or made refugees in the flood's wake. Currently crowdfunding on Kickstarter, the board game centers its mechanics on collective effort, saving community, and how race and class historically worsened ecological disasters. 
two to four players will work cooperatively to save homes and communities from the path of the Mississippi River's overflowing banks as weeks of rainfall surge beyond what the levees can contain or divert. Rising Waters will be available as a physical box and print and play version, while specific tiers exist for educators to purchase classroom bundles. The digital files are expected to be ready by January of 2023. The board game will begin shipping to backers in April. An upcoming board game challenges players to hold their breath during their turns, otherwise risk being infected by spores of black mold. In black mold, players find themselves awakening in a dark and musky building that appears to be covered in thick mycelium in which strange visions can be seen. A horror board game that supports two to five players, Black Mold takes place in an abandoned building that's been taken over by an entity made up of a dark fungus that seems to be sentient. The Kickstarter campaign for Black Mold is live until November 11th. The sequel to The King's Dilemma, The Queen's Dilemma, features a cast of playable characters who feel like they've come straight out of a season of Game of Thrones. The collection of playable characters players will be able to choose from provide a variety of political perspectives and ambitious personalities. Each session of the game will see the players being proposed one or more dilemma cards that the Queen will need to make a decision about. The Kickstarter campaign for the Queen's Dilemma is live until November 15th. Hasbro has announced a new series of escape and solve mystery games. The first game in the series is Clue Treachery at Tudor Mansion, designed by George Felidichuk, David Duvet Rudo, and Leo Taylor. This follows the same story as the classic game of Clue. While visiting his mansion, Mr. Body is found dead, and you must try to find the murderer. The game is primarily made of cards, tiles, and pawns. You will explore rooms of the house, finding clues and solving puzzles as you try to discover the answer to who Mr. Body's murderer is. Clue Treachery at Tudor Mansion is available in stores now. It plays one to six players ages 10 and up. Board and Dice has announced they are bringing a deluxe big box edition of Teotihuacan City of Gods to Kickstarter next year. The crowdfunding project will feature a deluxe edition that includes the base game along with all the expansions. The deluxe edition also will include all previously released promos and challenges. A beauty pack will be available for those who already have Teotihuacan content and just want to upgrade their game. Teotihuacan City of Gods and its expansions put one to four players in competition to raise the Pyramid of the Sun and advance up multiple tracks through dice worker placement on a variable rondelle. The modular expansions introduce additional resources, tracks, variable player powers, and more. Capstone Games has shared a little more information about the upcoming release of Terra Mystica Age of Innovations. This is a standalone sequel to the original Terra Mystica and has been described as Terra Mystica on steroids, offering a heavier game. Age of Innovation was originally planned for first quarter 2021, but pandemic and shipping delays had the release slip to late 2021, then 2022, and now, according to Capstone, we should be seeing the game in 2023. Publisher Oink Games have announced Make the Difference from the design team of Bod Game. Players are given a complex line drawing illustration sheet and have to make five small changes to the picture. The other players then need to find your differences. However, maximum points will be earned only if your additions are neither too hard nor too easy to find. Make the Difference will debut at the Tokyo Game Show held October 29th 30th and general release will be on November 11th. Let's Go to Japan is a card management game where players are visiting tourist attractions on their trip between Tokyo and Kyoto. Each turn, players will draw activity cards, and then they will play them on different day spots on their player boards as they complete their itinerary. Strategically placing their activity cards gives them more points when they activate their planned trip. It is planned to go to Kickstarter in 2023. It plays 1-4 to four players, 45-60 to 60 minutes, and ages 10 and up. As our last new game announcement, Upper Deck released new details about legendary encounters, The Matrix, a new deck building game which is headed for retail in spring 2023. The plot for this legendary encounters game follows The Matrix films 
allowing players to relive exciting parts of the movies. Players will be able to play as Neo, Morpheus, Trinity, or Niobe from the movies and battle against villains like Agent Smith, the Merovingian, the Twins, the Sentinels, and more. The game is for 1-5 to five players ages 17 and up and plays in 30-60 to 60 minutes. Let's talk for a bit about what's happening on the Meeple Mentor YouTube channel. First, did you know we have a Patreon page? It's available for fans of the podcast and channel to pledge as a patron and support us there. There's various pledge levels for small monthly support that helps grow the channel's content. You can get access to new content early. You'll get to vote on new game tutorials that come out on the channel and more. Head to Patreon at patreon.com slash meeplementor. Holly and I reviewed the new Hocus Pocus themed Yahtzee game. You can check out that review and others on the channel. I also put out a new recommendation video on Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition. You can watch more recommendations following the off the shelf playlist. Lastly, I published a tutorial on Coffee Roaster. It's an excellent solo only game about making coffee. It's really good and worth playing even if you don't normally play solo games. Thanks for tuning in to today's news update. I appreciate your support. And remember, teach when you can, but always be learning. See you next time.